So post Bathurst, I thought it was a great opportunity to dive into the front brakes of the car from Bathurst and explain to you why we had to change pads and calipers and, um, and how that looks for us. So let's start with the pads that have come out of the car. So this is the left and right ones and you can see how they're tapered. Whoops, you can see how tapered they are, very tapered. Um, funnily enough, the left and the right side taper at, at a different rate. Uh, not a lot, but enough, half a mil. Now, this is a brand new set. So when you compare the two, you can really see how badly tapered they are. So it's a real problem. And when the brakes start to taper, the pedal starts to get a bit long. So uh, the reason for that is piston size predominantly. So this is what the new caliper looks like that we get from AP, which is designed for these cars. And if you have a look at the piston sizes here, you can see that's quite small. I mean, they always vary in size, but in, in the new caliper, it's quite, quite a small end one. To compare them, these are the, the pistons out of um, the ZB. So this is a bit more of a um, purpose-built caliper, I guess, but you can see the piston size is quite different, but the small one's not as small as it is on, on that new caliper. So that's one of the reasons they tape up. The other interesting thing is this one, the bridge can come out. You undo this clip, you flip that up, um, and you can drop the pad straight in, and then you just put that back in again, and, and away you go. This hasn't got that ability. They felt when they designed this caliper that you wouldn't need to put pads in the car in the enduro. So this is just you know totally uh, part of the casting. The other interesting thing is how we handle pulling these off when they're you know, very, very hot in a pit stop. We've made this, BJR made this system, which is a collet. So it's a bit like it. And you can see you can't get that bolt out and it's spring loaded. So it, it doesn't drop out when you pull the caliper off and it's easy to bolt in. With this one, it's not the case. Uh, we weren't allowed to do that with the, the caliper on the Camaro. Well, not yet anyway. So it's a bit tricky and takes a little bit longer to, um, to change over. But fundamentally, that's what's going on with the brakes.